Hey everyone, um, what we're going to do today is we're going to do a muddler collar bucktail jig. Um, this is sort of my rendition on the Arky jig that's uh, by the same name, a muddler collar. And all that means is the bucktail is flared up around the collar. But um, this one here we played with last year and it worked out really good and uh, my buddies were telling me not to put this one out there, but for you guys, I'll do it since uh, these are pretty good with watching my videos and uh, helping me out here with we request and stuff. So uh, let's get started. In uh, Vice, we have a quarter ounce weedless banana head with a three aught, or a, I'm sorry, a two aught 5304 deep throat jig hook uh, with a little wire keeper I put in there for. A chunk trailer. We're going to start with some two tendon air flat wax nylon thread. The color is black and we're going to put black and purple bucktail in this. And I'm not going to use any flash. Um, what we found is this thing works great around sparse cover in a like around that 55 degree to down to 49 degree water temp. Really really good jig. So what we're going to do now is we got our base started and everything. We're going to start with some black bucktail. Now the difference between this bucktail and others is the distance past uh, the hook bend. Normally you have a little bit shank and a half distance behind because uh, you're imitating a minnow. But this is going to be drug on the bottom. Uh, this is going to work in dirty water, not muddy, but dirty, uh, two foot visibility. Um, it's going to be fished around light cover, uh, cooler water temperatures, but it will work in warm finesse approach. Uh, you're going to use like a zoom super chunk or a regular salty chunk, something like that on the back of this. So you're only going to want this maybe to go a hook shank beyond and the difference with this being it's a muddler collar is we're gonna trim it here at the middle of the head rather than being right on tight in the collar because when we pull this tight we're, we want the collar to flare out so we're gonna get our bucktail here I gotta pull some of the short ones out and see where we're at it's about right and then we're going to trim it up a little bit. Three wraps just to get some to secure it so I can get the hair all the way around and when you put a good thread base on the hair tends to follow the thread around so it really isn't that difficult as you can see we went all the way around pretty well and we're gonna pull it tight to get it to start to flare put a couple see as you can see I'm going up I'm pulling the, this hair down. If it doesn't flare out real well, you could pull it down and put some uh, wraps of thread around to get it to come out. Because that's the whole idea. You want this out, it's going to slow to fall and give it a unique profile. The other thing with this that I forgot to mention is on the bucktail itself. Normally, we want the hair up around here at the top. But for this jig, we want actually want the stuff down at the bottom because it's hollower here. It also tends to be straighter and um, uh, it doesn't have as much, how could I say it, um, it doesn't have a flowing quality like this up here does. This is kind of stiff down here and that's what we want for this type of jig. So now we got the first layer of bucktail on. Now we're going to go for our second because we're going to make a little full, but it's not actually going to look full because it's going to be flared out. 
So you look to see where we're at. Got a little bit to trim off. And that's the tricky part. If you trim too much off, uh, you're going to have like we had there with our first layer. It's not going to have a lot of flair to it. So when you're pulling uh, the hair out of your bucktail when you're cutting it, try to get real close and try to make sure you get the, the hair from down at the bottom there. This should be pretty decent. Yep. You see how that flares out like that? That's what we were looking for. That's what's going to make this jig really nice. Pull some of the hair away and get some of the loose ones out. And looking pretty good so far. Now we're going to add our second color, which in this case, since it's uh, the type of jig, we're going to go dark. We're going to go purple. Black purple. Now when you line this up uh, to make it even, Go a little bit past, because remember it's going to flare up. So if you go too, sh if you, you go here and you flare it up, you're going to be a little bit short. Won't hurt to be too short, but I like to try to keep it a little even because of the way it flares. Uh, that hook is a little bit more exposed. So what you're doing is you're putting emphasis on the trailer with this type of jig, but the hair gives you a nice, uh, a really nice profile. The fish seem to really like this one. That's why my buddies were saying, "No, I don't, don't put that out." Really, nothing special, but it does work well. And there, we're just about done. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this here, I'm going to make my wraps, uh, move it back and forth. I apologize for that, I shook the, my bench there and knocked my camera over. For some reason my camera does not want to stay today. Oh, I see, I broke a little tab on the, the mount. Okay. There you go. I apologize for that. So there we go. Like I say, move your, when you're making the wraps up above to your collar, by moving this back and forth, you won't trap all your, your hair down against the head. Put a couple up above. And now, the whip finish. Two, three, four, five, six. And I'm going to go above uh, the hair here. Six. And we'll put a weed guard in this and all later on. But for now, it's just the point of getting it tied. We're going to take some head cement here. You don't need a lot. And we're going to use our bodkin. And we're going to dip it in there. And put a little bit here behind the head. That'll be enough. That'll be enough. And we are done. We're going to pair this up with a, a, like I said, a Zoom Super Chunk or something of that nature, um, Salty Chunk, whatever you prefer. We'll get some of our loose ones out, which you will have in a jig of this type.
There you have it. That is a quarter ounce of hair jig there. It's going to stand up for you like that. You're going to hit the hit the bottom. It's going to be upright. You're going to have that hair, a real nice profile with a chunk trailer on the end. Doesn't get any better. The fish are going to kill that. Give it a try. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.